it's a hostile environment when you play there, so our guys need to be ready for that. It'll be the first game this year under the lights. It's not a new environment for us because we practice under the lights every night. It's a, it's a process of, uh, of uh, you, know, a, you know, getting yourself in a sort of a poised frame of mind and being able to deliver on game day. And it's been a process for our kids too. So they've been, uh, they've been learning. They've, uh, they've, had their, they've had their nose bloodied a few times because of a couple of mistakes. And uh, you know, they paid the price for it. So now it's uh, sort of time for, for us to get a bouncer to go our way. They like to throw the ball deep too. They've got, they've got some guys who are very good around the ball. Like uh, you know, these contested balls, they've got some guys that are pretty good basketball type guys they're they're big receivers 6'2 200 pounds they run pretty well but they're also athletic around the ball so you know we definitely have some challenges there they have multiple personnel sets you know they've got a uh, they got a big heavy set you go out there and double tight end you know that big number 78's coming in 94's coming in 77's playing the weekend that kind of stuff but when they uh, when you go out there you pull the fullback off the field and you go to more of a speed set yourself uh, then they have a different set of guys playing on the front. Number 54 moves in and plays the nose. Uh, uh, they've got a couple of linebackers. Well, 77 plays the quick end, and then they've got a number seven, the linebacker. He'll come in, so they go to more of a speed set, and then they'll put an, uh, more coverage guys in there. So very pro-style use of uh, personnel on defense. Two very good young kickers, I would say, probably the two best young kickers in the league, both freshmen and uh, both having good seasons. So. Uh, uh, it's going to, it should be a whale of a game. Our, our, our defense has probably had us in position to win most, most of our games. I think if you can hold the other team's offense to, you know, 20, 22 points or less, and I think that's kind of what our defense has been responsible for, you know, against some of the higher finishing teams, uh, then, you know, you should be in position to uh, grab a win now and again. We have some things in place that we think will take advantage of, uh, you know, who they have on the field. Okay, uh, that will that will determine to some degree what we try and do, and uh, and also you try and uh, you know give them a few things to think about that they need uh, you know some other ideas. So it's uh, it could be a little cat and mouse. I hope that's what it boils down to. That our guys show up with some fight and uh, you know scrap them for the line of scrimmage, and then we get into tac tactics after that.